Freedom, what if I told you at two or three thousand subscribers you could quit your day job and never have to work a normal job ever again? Well, keep watching and we'll talk about it. Today I wanted to discuss with you an article that I had read, link in the description, uh, and I'd like to discuss it with you in an open forum type setup. However, before we get into it, I'd like to point out that this video is pointed at those who wish to make YouTube their career. If you're the type of person who thinks that YouTubers should never be compensated for their time, or make YouTube their jobs, or that um, people should only do this because they love it and never get paid for it. If that's you, go ahead, click up here uh, for some cat videos, because this video is not for you. Imagine, if you will, if you had two billion views on your YouTube channel. At a rate of about two dollars per thousand, that's a two dollar CPM, roughly. That's about two million dollars worth of revenue. Now that sounds like a lot of money, until you realize that it very well could have cost you up to four million dollars to generate that two million dollars worth of content. Most people that watch this video will not be dealing with numbers these large. I've actually chosen these numbers because they do show the problem in a more tangible way. Most people don't mind spending a dollar to make 50 cents. However, once you kind of blow that problem up, it becomes a lot more apparent to show the real root of the issue. So let's do some quick math. A 22 minute television program accompanied by 16 30 second ads. Now that's going to generate an average of $25 per thousand viewers. That's a $25 CPM, right? That sounds awesome, but that's TV. A five and a half minute YouTube video monetized the same way would get about $100 for those same thousand impressions. After a billion views, that's $100 million. That is a lot of money. But then again, we don't monetize YouTube content that way. To be fair, out of all of that, YouTube would take their cut. And if you're with an MCN, of course, there would be a split there in exchange for whatever services that they provide to you. So really, you're looking at somewhere around $50 million or so. The reason I'm telling you all of this is because the CPM model is not designed for creators. It's not designed to benefit creators, and it's not really designed to make sense to creators. The CPM model is for advertisers. However, when it comes to things like blogging and YouTubing, in order to make sense of the whole thing, as an industry standard, we've kind of adopted that model because it's all we really have. Rather than explaining the difference between RPM, or revenue per mil, or thousand viewers, and CPM, or cost per mil, or cost to the advertiser per thousand dollars, I'll actually try to put a card on screen right now where Zesty Mike does a wonderful job of explaining it, probably better than I ever could. So why am I mentioning all of this? Well, here's why. If YouTube were monetized at about the same level as TV, we could very easily all survive and live a regular human being's wage at about two to three thousand active subscribers. That's right. If we monetize the two the same way, then you could very easily, at 3,000 subscribers, quit your day job and do everything the way that you, know, you want to do it. Your channel could be your only job. But unfortunately, that's not the way that things work. However, it is possible. And that's what I want to talk to you in the next video that I am going to talk to you about earnings on YouTube. I hope that this video has been helpful for you. If it has, let us know in the comment section down below if you have any experience with these numbers or you have any ideas about how I'm going to tell you that this is possible. Let us know in the comment section down below. I'd be very open to talking to you about this. And yeah, till next time, like, subscribe, comments please.